Just a great team win. Great team win. And uh, obviously, I'm asking about our quarterback, Braxton. I'm not hurt. I've just been running around. Uh, I'm going to the team. I'm going to find out immediately right after this. Uh, we also have Philly Browns, uh, Alf, and uh, uh, hit the head. And uh, uh, we lost Evan Bogard. I'm not sure this is serious to show his injury, but I don't know what good to his knees. So right now, we're on fumes as far as you know, special teams in certain uh, positions. So. Uh, we gotta, gotta regroup fast and uh, gotta, gotta get a lot better. However, uh, some of the efforts I saw tonight were legendary. I mean, that was uh, that was a moment that I'll certainly never forget. And that was a, a quarterback from John in the game, you know, right hander, and uh, just did a heck of a job. You know, and we had the safety and just, I mean, just some stuff happening. But the bottom line is, we're gonna build on wins and build on uh, build on uh, being extremely positive and coaching these kids because they do listen to you. So with that said, I'll answer any questions for me. Left front, Bill. Could you describe the swing of your emotions from what it was like no. with a minute to go? And then I don't I'm still trying to figure this bad boy out. <laughs> Did you? We won, right? <laughs> one we lost eight. No, no. Uh, I just love Ken Guy. I just think he's a. Uh, Especially we get the long pass, I really thought he was going to go in. And over time, I had so much the energy in that stadium and how loud that was. That was part of the Nebraska game. And I want to thank our fans for that. Far right, over here, Clay. Yeah, Coach Clay Hall, ABC6. Did you push a button a little bit today with Chris Fields? I don't think he had a catch coming in. He makes a big catch. Uh, Chris Fields is a product of, I'd like to say, our program, and that means, yeah, three weeks ago, he wouldn't have been on the field. Uh, but he just changed his whole dynamic and the way he works, his practice habits, and his performance. He can go out there and work like one and make plays, but uh, he's earned that right to be on the field. He was even playing before that, before Philly went down. I mean, he was on the field for three, four weeks when he's not on the field. So it's a product of, he also ran down a kickoff for me. So it's just that whole systematic approach that we have, and I'm very, very proud of him. I mean, my goodness. That was a great catch. Left front, Bo. Marvin Bo Bishop, BNS Radio and TV. Uh, when, you, when you put it all into context, and I, mean, I know you said you probably haven't been able to just yet, but uh, I'm just wondering if maybe that's kind of why you get back into coaching. The ebbs and flows of that game, I'm sure you lost some hair a little bit in it too, but uh, have you in your life seen anything like that with everything you guys went through? I, I don't know anything like that, not where we're at injury-wise. You know, we're just, I mean, I see how fumes now. You know, Nate Williams is playing outside back. And he's not an outside backer. And we gave up a touchdown because of that. Uh, we're playing guys right now that are, you know, but they're out there just going as hard as they possibly can. And uh, so, to answer your question, I've never seen anything uh, swing like that. And then with where we're at, as far as, you know, we're full speed, full strength, that's a whole different animal. Right front, Tim. Yeah, Tim McLeod is dispatch. Irby, just talk about, well, real quick, uh, is Hankins okay? Or Hankins is, is okay. Okay. Uh, did you look into Kenny Guyton's eyes? What did you see there? Is he, is he rolled in like you called him? You called him his right coming out of the bullpen. But just, are you, I mean, this is a guy, like you said, almost had a one-way ticket back to Texas. Well, he threw the pick, and I grabbed him afterwards, and I, and I did. I grabbed him and said, you're going to go win this game, and he looked right at me. Uh, he was really down. I think that moment kind of picked him up. And, uh, you know, we, we have confidence in Kenny Guyton. And uh, one thing is we're real honest. You guys are out here. If you do, I tell him. So you don't have confidence in him. Here's what you need to do. That's not the case. Every snap of practice, he gets a rep. Uh, he's done that over and over again in practice, the, uh, the cross, the 860 cross. And, uh, uh, but after that interception, uh, I, you know, we all went back. Well, I didn't. I just grabbed it. I said, uh, we'll be right back. We're going to win the game here. He looked right at me. He said, got you, coach. And, and I think he needed that because he's done how many times has he been in that situation? You know, how many times has anybody been in that situation? Left front, Steve. Yeah, Coach, uh, see how I can want to ask about your defense. I know they gave up a couple big plays, but in the fourth quarter, uh, slamming the door in the overtime, uh, I don't know that they got any yards in the overtime, just uh, the, the job they did in the fourth quarter in the overtime. Yeah, I thought they played well the whole day. I thought one was obviously a mistake by uh, Williams, who's playing outside linebacker. Josh Perry, two freshman, goes down, makes out of play. I uh, never practiced. We did that rough in practice this week, and uh, uh, but he made plays after that. So. I thought our defense it might have been their best performance. Obviously, the first one was a kind of a bullshit play, a double wheel out of the backfield. And uh, you take away that play, which you can't take away that play, and a kickoff return for a touchdown, and our defense can move well. Right front, Bob? <laughs> I know you love Ken Guyton, but 47 seconds left, 61 yards, no timeouts. 
backup quarterback. Mm -hmm. What are the odds of that? Uh, no one can live. No. <laughs> you didn't know that was going to happen? How much time was left? 47 seconds. 47 seconds. Six time and off. Yeah, that was, uh, I mean, I just can't say enough about it. But, you know, it's a kind of recurring uh, theme every time we bring up his name. I mean, that's the same thing as a coach. He prepares. We call competitive excellence. And competitive excellence is simply when you work so hard, when you're nervous calling, because of so many reps, you can make a play. And uh, it just attributes to that, that kid. I mean, he is a special guy. He, you know, even if he, I hate to say this, even if he doesn't complete that pass, that's a special kid. He's ready. And that's, he's all Buckeye now. And that family has to be very proud. I know they are. I mean, what are you kidding me? What kind of kid he is. And I'm not talking about a game winning touchdown. Just what kind of kid he is, what kind of team player. Far left, Austin. Austin Ward, ESPN.com. <coughs> Herbert, do you have any idea how severe the injury is to Braxton and Edwin? I just came up here. I'm going to go right from here and find out. And when you put Kenny in the game, is there any difference at all in the package he has or he has a full deal? Yeah, he's a, a little bit different. Uh, not so much packages, the calls we use. You know, uh, uh, he's not quite the, the, the runner. Uh, we ran uh, just as different calls, but it is different. A couple more questions. I got. Uh, I want to mention Jake Stolberg too. But I don't know if I did. But he played his tail off, and he has the last two weeks. We had a little come to you know what meeting because uh, he wasn't playing well. He's uh, you know he's playing okay, uh, but one of the, once again I think one of the things that I, I love so much about our program is direct conversation and direct honesty. And he wasn't he wasn't playing very hard in these plans, and he did it. He played okay. But okay, he's not good enough for a guy like that. The last couple of games, he's played lights out. He's made play great. Far right here, Jared. Uh, Jared Small, NBC4. Just um, you spoke during the week about getting involved with the defense, getting more hands on. With it. What evidence did you see of, of the conversations you had with the staff this week that showed up in the field on those fourth quarter drives and the stops you had to get? You know, I was so busy with the offense during that time. I really have not seen it, and I'll let you know afterwards. Uh, I like the, you know, I would flip over and the energy level and. and Conversation between the defensive staff and I would go out there and when we huddle up, I'd say something and talk to them. But to start saying that I had something to do with that, I don't think that's appropriate. I think our defense and leaders and our coaching staff did a heck of a job and made some, you know, did what they had to do. Once again, now those injuries aren't going away real fast, so we still got some more work to do. But I think that uh, we played good in the fourth quarter because of some, you know, t shirt I gave them or some you know, catchy sprays. That's not fair, that's not appropriate. It's, it's a group of guards that are and off and play hard. Final question, far left, Doug. Uh, Doug Lane, Reese, things like you look urban. I know you don't know about Braxton yet, but when you were out on the field with him, what was your level of concern as you sort of saw him? Yeah, I, I saw it, and you know, all these guys are the same with uh, Bogart, and I like, just have concern, and especially, you know, I think it's a uh, you know, head, and that, that concerns all of us, so I'm going to go find that right now. And then last year, this team, when Braxton got hurt at Nebraska, fell apart. What was the difference for the team? To be able to hang in there as Ken came in. I think you know we talked. It's the old saying about the reason we work so hard is when you when you or we actually talked about that in the hotel this morning when it gets really hard and people that don't work very hard just let go of the rope and do something else. If you work really hard, you just hold on to that rope. It's an old analogy that a lot of people have used, and uh, uh, it's amazing that we did talk about that this morning in the hotel. The reason we do it's so hard here. I mean, it is. You can come into February workouts, March. And that's for a reason. That when it gets so freaking hard. You can't give it up. You got too much invested. So that's my opinion of why they found a way to win the game. And sorry to hold you up, but last one, the two point conversion <laughs> play. Just what was the execution? What was the call on Great that? Great call. Uh, that was Tom called that one. It actually, it's been on the. Uh, I asked him before we got the ball. I said, "That was our two point play." And the spot. This is great. So the offense line was screaming at me to run the ball, and uh, I mean, like screaming and sending Carlos Hyde, and I almost changed that play. And uh, I said to Tom, "I said, let's pound it out." And I said, no, let's go with this. So uh, he, he won that battle. And great call, great execution. He blocks his way out and a little delay by the tight end. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks.